<laughs> Late last year, um, on this escarpment edge, uh, we got a very exciting image on one of our remote cameras. The cameras are actually there just to monitor rock wallabies. Every week we collect images from the cameras and uh, when we were reviewing some of those images there was a very different um, image of an animal in there and we sought some expert advice and it, it ended up being that it was a spotted tail quoll, an animal that's a live one's never been found within the Grand Pin. So that was really exciting for us and I guess that's what kicked off our sort of further investigation into where this quoll um, may have come from because we've sought some expert advice and the, the advice has told us that it's likely the same one quoll that we're detecting uh, they, can, they can tell that out by actually looking at the arrangement of spots on the quoll and it's likely due to the quoll size that it's a male quoll. Um, so today's a really exciting day for, for Parks Victoria. We're working on a conservation partnership with um, the Otway uh, Conservation Centre. Uh, we've brought some dogs into the park, some specially trained dogs. We've got special permission to do that. And the dogs are searching for quoll scat or quoll poo because um, that's of interest to us. Um, the reason that's of interest to us is uh, um, we, we've never sort of detected a live quoll within the park before so we got really excited about that and we wanted to learn more about where the quolls come from um, and even things like what, what is it eating while it's here at the Grampians. So in order to find out that information we had to get creative and we we're very fortunate that on our doorstep down at the Otways was a very special program and that's the Otway Conservation Dog Program where they've trained some a small group of dogs um, specifically to sniff for quoll scat and that's what we're doing today. We've got a posse of dogs walking on the edge um, of this escarpment area uh, sniffing for quoll scat. There's a few things that scat can tell us. If we get really fresh scat we can actually look at the genetics of the quoll and that may help us figure out where this quoll's come from. Uh, the scat can also tell us what the quoll's been eating and that's also of interest to us. The other thing that the scat will, if we do detect some scatters, it'll, it'll tell us where we might be able to invest some further effort into actually uh, monitoring for the quoll, where we can set up some more remote cameras, etc. All right, guys. Um, so Shane and Tara, we're going to head up this way and yep. do the top of the um, escarpment. Right, yeah. um, Patrick and Bob, if you head down towards the uh, creek line and pick up down the bottom side for that. Sure. Yeah, okay. Off we go. Okay. Good, luck. Good luck. It's quite amazing to actually see them in operation. Uh, they have a very refined sense of smell. And um, in some of the tests that they've been doing in order to make sure the dogs are familiar with the scent, I've seen dogs sort of alert to a quoll scat 30 metres away and go straight to it. So actually after seeing this in, in operation, I have a lot of faith in the dog's ability to actually detect the presence of a quoll if quolls were sort of travelling through that landscape. <laughs> um, so the, the two areas where we want to focus our search are firstly along creek lines, because um, quolls are known to use creek lines um, as pathway, pathways through the landscape. Um, the second area where we want to sort of focus our search is around uh, rock outcrops. Um, so we've got uh, quite a few remote camera images of the quoll that we've seen here exploring rock outcrops and it's probably searching for food for things like rodents and, and potentially possums. Um, the quolls themselves, like they're, they're mysterious animals, uh, they're, they're very hard to detect because they occur in really low numbers. So this is certainly going to be a challenge for us and that's why you need to to use every tool in the toolkit and that's why it's great to have the dogs here working today. Mm -hmm.